What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the problem when the Logitech G-Hub application is not launching or otherwise not working on your PC. We will first refresh the Logitech G-Hub service. Open up your task manager by searching for it in your start menu. On this window, head to the processor section and locate the Logitech G-Hub tasks. Right-click these tasks and proceed to end them. This will make sure the application is not running in the background. Next, open up your Windows Services Manager by searching for Services in your Start menu and open it. Here, locate the LG Hub Updater Service. You can select any service in this list and start typing LG Hub to find it. Right-click the service to access its properties. If the service is running, click Stop to hold it temporarily. After clicking OK to confirm, close the Properties window. It's good practice to refresh the services window by right-clicking on the white area and selecting Refresh, ensuring that the changes have been applied. Now, attempt to launch Logitech G-Hub again to see if the problem has been resolved. If it persists, we we'll move on to the second solution, reverting to an older version of Logitech G-Hub. It's crucial to remove the current version of G-Hub from your computer. Search for Control Panel in your Start menu search. Open it. Navigate to Uninstall a program. Find Logitech G-Hub in the list or search for it in the search bar at the top right. Right-click it once found and choose Uninstall. Follow the prompts to remove the application. After uninstalling, let's proceed to download an older version of Logitech G-Hub. Open up your web browser and navigate to this site linked in the video description. The first version you find on this list would usually be the latest version of Logitech G-Hub so you can safely ignore it. Download the version that was released before this latest version. Also, this list will vary based on when you are watching this video. Once the download is complete, run the setup file to reinstall G-Hub. During the installation, follow the on-screen instructions. This step should replace any corrupted or incompatible files with versions that are known to be stable. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.